Hey guys, Rafael, amigo, Rafael. Um, I didn't show how to build this guy. He was a kit. Era algo de armar. No lo enseñé. But uh, I got some uh, requests on showing at least how to paint him. So we're going to start painting this guy. Uh, vamos a pintarlo, ya que muchos me pidieron cómo pintarlo. So let's get this guy going. Normally I would just use uh, this flesh tone that's already done. This is a little bit yellowish. But, uh, you know, then after that you add all kinds of stuff so it, it turns out the color you want eventually. I normally use this color of skin. It's a little bit yellow, but after so many colors that the meta ya agarra uno este el color que uno quiere. But although I have a video, a pesar de que tengo un video por ahí, este cómo mezclar color piel, uh, you know, I have a video on how to mix the flesh tone, which is hit hit and miss, I guess you can say. Uh, uh, they asked me to do it again. Uh, me pidieron que lo enseñara de nuevo. So, you know, what we're going to do is very quickly just start off with red and yellow, rojo y amarillo. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm about to start haciendo el aventón. And you want to create, I guess, an orange color. Un color anaranjado. Add a little bit of white in there. Un poco de blanco. And a little bit of blue. Un poquito de azul. Not too much. And as you can see, we need a little bit more white. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. So, you know, kind of there you have it, you know. Your skin tone. Uh, más o menos es el color. You want it lighter, add more white. You want it less red, add more blue. Si quieren que no esté tan, tan café. Más blanco o más azul si lo, no lo quieren tan rojo. So, there you go. So, let's start painting. Vamos a empezar a pintar. Okay, we want to seal this up. Vamos a sellarlo. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is use a spatter. Uh, voy a echar la, o sea, las aspicadas de, de rojo. So we're going to spatter them with red. And do the same thing as in my other videos. Red, yellow, purple, green, blue, brown, and dark brown. Con los mismos colores. Primero negro, azul, morado, verde, blanco, azul. Ya dije azul. Café, café oscuro, amarillo. Alright, so this is what I have so far as lo que tengo por el momento. A lot of those speckles, muchos pequitas, again, different colors. Uh, it was uh, red, uh, white, blue, green, purple, yellow, uh, and uh, dark brown and light brown. Uh, de nuevo, los colores que usé aquí, para hacer las pequitas, blanco, azul, amarillo, morado, verde, rojo, café y café claro. Now what I'm going to do is go with red and do little modeling. Voy a hacerle ahora sí muchas venitas por todos lados. All this will be covered with uh, another coat of base. Todo esto se va a tapar con otra vez el color base. Ah, pero no del todo. But not all the way. Okay, I'm going to seal it. Voy a sellarlo because I'm going to go in with modeling with the uh, blue. Okay, we're going back with the base coat con el color piel. We're just going to knock this down a bit to make it look like it's from inside, hopefully. You don't want to cover them. No quieren taparlo, nada más cualquier cosita. Okay. 
All right, we're going to go in with some shading, un poco de sombras. Okay, now we're going to make these look like flame um, or fire. Uh, vamos a hacer esto y a pintarlos que se vean como lumbre. No sé cómo lo voy a hacer, pero bueno, vamos a grabar unas ideas. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Never done that before, so we're going to try this out. Now, one real quick thing. This is translucent. Esto es tra uh, transparente, pero un tip. Um, when you want to sand down the, um, the seams, if necessary, um, al lijarlo, se pone opaco. You know, when you sand the seams down, let me show you here. I mean, it, uh, you lose the transparency. So what I did is you, you do a rough one if you need it. Then I go with a medium. And then I go with a very fine one. And um, then I just gloss over it and you'll get the transparency back. Este, para, para cuando lo lija uno, si se necesita, yo utilicé porque necesitaba uh, papel de lija, este, que se puede, este, uh, uno que lija, ah, shit, no sé cómo se dice. Pues uno, es más, el más, el fino, el mediano y el más, este, más, más fuerte, no sé cómo se diga, pero en fin. Esto es el más fuerte y lógico se va a poner opaco. Luego el mediano y luego el más fino. Y este y aunque se ve como que se perdió la, el, lo transparente, ya la despellarlo con este clear glass o transparente el, el shit, ni sé cómo se dice eso. En fin, se le espera para que brille y ya no hay problema. Alright, so how do we make these things look like flame? I have no idea. So, vamos a hacerlos que se vean como lumbre. No tengo ni idea cómo lo voy a hacer, pero vamos a empezar con amarillo. Let's start with some yellow. Hmm. Right now we're going to throw in some orange, un poquito de anaranjado. In different areas, in different lugares. bit of red, not too much. Un poquito de rojo. Alright, now I'm going to throw a little bit of white just in certain areas. Voy a ponerle un poquito de blanco en ciertas áreas. I don't know why, but I saw a picture of a flame and there's some little white areas, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so we want these guys to be nice and glossy, que brillen bastante como fuego. So I'm using the triple thick gloss. Alright, so here he is guys, aquí está. All done. This set I just put in with putty just to hold it in place for the video. Esto nada más lo puse con este la esta silly putty para el video. But uh, you know it just comes off. But anyway, so 
Okay, guys. Aquí está, amigos. Hope you learned something. Espero que hayan aprendido algo. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.